Hello everyone, how is everyone doing in this mesh yourself here? Today, we are going to be reacting to some spooky stories. Now, we are seeing a lot of horror animation channels pop up. And there is another one, Animated Horror Flicks. And this guy makes some pretty cool looking animations, which I think you guys would really like and enjoy. So, if you guys want to do me and him a favor, uh, the best way to support animators is just going over to the channel and just clicking subscribe. Okay, alright, it helps them, you know, be found by other people who also might like this content. So yeah, so go subscribe to that channel, guys, alright? He's a good animator. Also, guys, if you haven't subscribed to my animation channel yet, you guys should definitely do that. I, I think there should be a new animation. Uh, I don't know when this video is going up. It may, be, it may be even be up right now. So go watch the new animation if it's up. So the first video we're going to watch is The Night Shift. Damn, guys, imagine working the damn night shift huh? Huh? all alone, okay, in some bloody scary place all alone. <laughs> guys, I hate being alone. <laughs> wait, I'm alone now. Uh, that, that, wait, what if someone comes in? Hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> I don't usually hold back oh. when it comes to talking about my job, which my job. was working security at the sub-level of a local hospital. Sub level. You'd be surprised to know how common break-ins were at that place. Break-ins? Which usually ended up being a couple of junkies trying to get high on some of the weird chemicals that were being kept in the labs. What the? What, what are you keeping in these labs? What kind of chemicals? It started what the, out what? as a regular graveyard shift at work, but I'll lead in with a curious backstory regarding the curious. doors that led to the morgue. Oh, curious. In order backstory. to keep the place more sanitized, they had recently installed sliding doors that would automatically open if someone Auto passed in automatically front of them. Automatically open? Okay. Thus understand. removing the need to touch any handles or doorknobs. Uh, don't want to touch any doorknobs door now, guys. Accident. Don't touch any doorknobs if you see Hygiene a doorknob. played a major role at that morgue, and it had been on the agenda for the past few months. There wasn't anything really unique about the sliding doors, uh -huh. except for the fact that they would sometimes open and close by themselves. Oh, hell no, 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 That by no. itself didn't you seem like go. such a big you deal, since go. this could have no. been caused by something small, such as a moth no. flying in front of a the sensor. No, it's not a bloody, it's a bloody ghost, guys! <gasps> until one night, oh, until one I realized night. that it would always happen at the same time. The 3 a.m., it's always the spooky Every time. Every night, at exactly 3 a.m., I told you! The doors would open for a few seconds and then close. Open? Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's a spooky time, I was convinced guys. the doors had been programmed with some kind of time-based trigger. No. But when I no. contacted the company really that installed the doors, Go ghost. they told me that it wasn't possible since the doors were designed only to open when the sensors were triggered See? or forced open manually. Go 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 so it continued without any explanation for a long time after that and became sort of a ritual for me and a my co-workers to watch the doors open and close on the monitors every night. Ritual? This guy looks like me too. Usually there would be it's at least two guards on duty, but that night I ended up working the graveyard shift by myself. Graveyard? Because the other security guard suddenly became ill and there wasn't the, enough. Suddenly became ill. The ghost made him ill, and that's why the ghost wanted this guy alone tonight. He's working here all alone in the bottom of a hospital. All right. Do you know how many people die in the hospital? Spooky people in the bloody hospital. Ugh. There wasn't enough time to find there a temp wasn't enough who could time fill in at such short notice. this temp. Shit. Just to be clear, I had been working as a security guard for a long time, I don't so care I was no stranger long. to danger, and stranger I wasn't danger? worried about working alone at night. That rhymed, though. Besides, the work Boss. was pretty straightforward. Okay. All I had to do is make sure all the doors were locked and secured, and keep a close eye on the monitors. Stay focused. Ghosts aren't real. Okay. There were only two cameras, one Focus. overlooking the control room, uh -huh. and another one at the other end of the corridor oh. overlooking the entrance to the morgue. See, it's that Five Nights at Freddy's. Come on, it's as cameras. As the clock approached 3 a.m., uh -huh. I did what all the guards on duty would do. Look at the cameras. Sit back and enjoy the show. Enjoy the show. <gasps> but then the ghost is not going to Although the up. novelty of seeing this phenomenon had long worn off, it was still something I would anticipate and would often give me the chills. Yeah, chilly willies. Seeing how it was the entrance to the yeah, morgue. Yeah, man, I'll feel it. sense a sudden rush of cold air uh, every the time the doors air? would open. Ghost? Even from the other end of the corridor. The 3 a.m. ghost? That's scary, guys. I watched patiently as the doors opened. Followed by the no, howling no. rush of cold air that could be heard from under no, the door. No, nope. get the hell out of there. Get the hell out of there. There's a ghost coming in your room, huh? Do you not know that? That's the ghost. Oh! No, 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 no. Get the hell out of there. No, I would not take this bloody job, okay? All right, I'd rather it work at McDonald's. It was when I glanced away from the door and looked to the monitors that I noticed something strange. What the doors she? remained open. No! At first, I thought it might be a glitch with the monitor, and I was simply looking at a frozen frame. 
But then I saw the lights flicker. That's not meant to happen! That's not meant to happen! I waited for a few minutes, but it soon became clear that I would have to head on down to the no. end of the corridor, no. since it was strictly prohibited for no. the doors to the morgue to remain open. No! The morgue! As I stepped out into the corridor, the morgue I acknowledged is there? a significant drop in temperature, which I knew was going to get considerably worse as I approached the morgue. That's where the dead people are! That's where the morgue is! I gradually made my way down the corridor and oh. turned the corner that ultimately led me to the nope. sliding doors. Nope. 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 No. Nope. I had hoped that the doors might have closed by the time I got there, but just as I had seen on the monitor, the doors were in fact still open and the camera was functioning normally. Oh, hell no. Hell, hell. I tried to waving the no. my hands in front of the sensor, but to no avail, the no doors would not budge. No avail? Uh oh, close the damn doors. I reluctantly do? contemplated my next option, which was to Just test the it. sensors from the other side. Pull the doors together. To enter the morgue. But I decided to take a look around first to see if I could observe anything out of the ordinary. Uh oh. Only when I turned my back to observe the corridor did the doors finally close, oh. which was quickly accompanied by a cold chill in the air. Damn, that's scary, guys. I don't like that. I could feel Damn. an overwhelming sense of someone standing right behind no, me as no. the hairs on the back of my neck began to spike. Ah, ah I'm back of the leg. Uh, no, no, there's someone behind me. There's someone behind me. There's a bloody ghost. I'm telling you guys, you think ghosts are real? But it turns out to real? be more of huh? the same eerie silence as before. No, 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 it's ghost. Since the doors had already closed without having to actually enter the morgue, okay. I considered myself fortunate and hurried back to the control room to you make sure fortunate. nothing else was out of place. What the hell, man? I closed Could've the door and locked it from the inside, and for a moment I was expecting it to be business as usual as I sat back down in front of the monitors. No, is it going to open again? But after no. after taking a quick sip of my coffee, I realized the coffee was stone cold. The coffee? The ghost pissed in Not your coffee? Not just lukewarm as you would expect, Damn. but genuinely chilled. Your ghost pissed in your coffee, I hadn't been away from coffee, the desk man. for that long, so it didn't make much sense at all. Damn. But then I remembered that I had felt that same chill before oh. at the other end of that corridor. Whoa, that's chilly willy, man. Out of curiosity, Damn. I decided to rewind the security footage back to when no. I approached the door oh, to no, see no, if I could no. spot I... anything out of the ordinary. But what if you did? It would freak me out. Which is something that I simply couldn't explain. No! Oh. There was a girl standing in front of the doors behind me. I couldn't really make out her face due to her long black hair. That was a stark contrast to the white gown she was wearing. She just stood there staring right at me and then walked towards the exit. To this day, I can't explain it, because I had just been there and I hadn't seen anyone. No. It was when I checked the other camera overlooking the entrance to the control room that really sent a chill down my spine and what? still gives me nightmares to this day. Yeah, that would give me that. Oh no, she's there again! Oh! No! Damn, this animation, it was really good, guys. You have to admit, all right, it was, it was, the animation was really good, and also the story was really good, too. When the lights came back on, it was oh. as if nothing happened. The door oh. to the control room was open, despite being locked from the inside just moments before. It continues? No way, it continues. Due to the mysterious power surge, most of the data on the drives had been completely corrupted. But some of the security footage did survive, and I've been holding on to it ever since. Oh. I okay. guess now would be the time to ask yourself, do you believe in ghosts? Do you believe in ghosts? Damn, guys. All right, who knows? Who knows if it's a ghost or not? We will only find out until we're a bloody ghost. But what if we don't become a ghost? Then we're not going to be a ghost. Damn, what a great animation, guys. That's exactly what I'm talking about. So I, I think you guys should definitely subscribe to his channel by now. I hope you are already subscribed to him. All right, let's watch Nightmare on a Plane. Ooh. You're on a plane, having a nightmare about being on a plane. Being on a plane is already a nightmare for me, honestly. Uh, having to be in a small, confined area, people coughing, <coughs> people sneezing. <laughs> uh, disgusting. People are disgusting. I hate people. And being in people with people on a plane, man, that's it a nightmare. It was Halloween, and the flight had anyway. suffered a huge delay for whatever reason. Halloween? Which led to most of the passengers being reseated on other flights, leaving only a handful of us. And by us, no. I mean those unlucky enough not to have been reseated or unable to afford a hotel stuck at the airport. Damn. Despite the long wait, I Let's actually preferred again. sharing the cabin with fewer passengers, which is something usually one could only accomplish in first class. Damn. I enjoyed the luxury of being able to choose my seat once I boarded the flight. Oh, I love picking my own seat, but then some smelly person was sitting next to you. the far back section of the plane, 
I chose a quiet corner seat in the front section where there were just a few other passengers that yeah, appeared to yeah. know each other, judging by how close just they be were. Be far seated away together. from everyone. The flight was originally intended to take place during the day, but the delay had resulted in an overnight flight. Uh huh. Not a big deal, but I did miss seeing the awesome view from outside the window, Damn. which eventually led me to focus my attention to the interior of the cabin. Despite the fact that most window planes often seat. appear larger on the inside. The enclosed space always made me feel a little uncomfortable yeah, and usually too. resulted in a persistent need for a distraction such as reading a book or listening to music. Yeah, come on. I was about to pull out Stupid my phone when flight. I was suddenly approached by the flight attendant asking oh, me if I wouldn't nuts. mind sitting with the other passengers. Uh, speak, Albeit get away confused, from me. I agreed to the unusual request no. since I was traveling uh, fairly light and I figured there must have been a good reason for it. Uh, Although I did regret asking why when I had the chance. Shortly after changing seats and settling in, the entire cabin plunged into an eerie silence. Oh. I probably wouldn't have thought that much of it had it not been for the conversations between the other passengers that had quickly faded into frightened whispers of shock and disbelief. What? Did I make things that awkward? Have you awkward? ever felt that strange sensation of the atmosphere around you instantly becoming heavy with sorrow and the thought of never being cheerful again? What? That's exactly Did... what it felt like. What? What are you trying to say? So as I looked to see what everyone was getting so upset about. Oh. What? <laughs> what is that? Huh? What is that? I couldn't quite believe my eyes oh. at first, oh. and the notion of sharing a small cabin with a dead person for the remainder of the flight was extremely unsettling. Uh, um. I knew that the flight staff were probably just following procedure. What's going on? But I could still feel my stomach churning in the face of this morbid turn of events. Um, at that point, I decided to head on to the restroom. Uh, what? Are you gonna walk past this bloody dead thing? Oh, I don't care. P uh, hold your pee in, man. Oh, or maybe he has to number two. I eventually number two. ended up just taking a breather and telling myself to get a grip. Yeah, get a grip. I wasn't the you only stupid. passenger on the plane after all. Come on, concentrate. After Damn. a few minutes of finally pulling myself together enough to try to get through the rest of the flight, a oh. loud thud shook the door. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 I'm trying to do a poo over here. Don't open the door. I'm, uh, it's Suddenly, occupied. the banging stopped and all I could hear was my elevated breathing. Use the Strangely, other toilet. I felt less safe alone locked inside the restroom than I did outside with the rest of the passengers. So I waited just a few minutes before cautiously opening the door. No, don't open the door. It's pretty ghost, huh? I couldn't ghost see any plane? sign of danger as I peered through the gap in the door and prepared to vacate the restroom. Just as I was about to discreetly return to my seat, the same flight attendant from before oh. appeared out of nowhere, uh -oh. almost hitting me with the service trolley. It looked like she had just finished serving fresh beverages to some of the passengers, Damn. and I remember thinking how strange it was that she appeared oblivious to the loud banging on the restroom door that had occurred just moments prior. Yeah, didn't you hear the ghost? She remained completely Did you see speechless, it? and there was something off about the way she looked at me. She saw the ghost you know that too. that weird stare you give someone when you suspect that they're onto you for whatever reason? Ooh. I eventually broke eye contact and she continued down the aisle to serve drinks to the rest of the passengers. I quickly returned to my seat having almost completely forgotten about the corpse that had been seated in the corner behind me. <laughs> I still can't Damn. believe I managed to walk right past it without even noticing. Whoa. I guess I was still a little distracted by the fact that none of the other passengers appeared to have heard the loud banging on the door either. What the? Oh, Perhaps somebody, it wasn't oh. as loud as I remember, or maybe it was just a prank. What? It was Halloween after all. What the hell's going on? At least what? I had a spooky Halloween tale to share with my young nephews back at home. Huh? Even if it meant not being able to share the entire truth of what really happened on board that flight. Damn. At least until now. Damn. That's scary, guys. <gasps> uh oh. Guys, this is too scary. What's going on? I'm so upset. What the, what the hell is happening? Oh! Uh, what? None of it's real! Is that a nightmare? No, no, no. What's going on? Damn. That was cool. Hell yeah. This was great. This was so great. Wow, I, I really like that. That was cool. Man, these animations are great, and I can't wait for them to make more. Uh, They're definitely really amazing. Okay, let's just watch one more. The Snowman. Ooh, spooky, spooky snowman. Guys, I never trusted snow. Huh? Huh? The, all the water particles working together in a frozen state? I don't know what this, what they're talking about. This is scary, guys, or I don't trust snowmen. Huh? Spooky. I was a struggling ghostwriter, and I thought I'd break away from the city to spend time at a remote ski resort would be a good way to clear my head and help me get back on my feet. Damn, but what's in the forest though? 
There weren't any other cabins around, so I was guaranteed a few weeks to reflect and enjoy the isolation. The isolation? Self-isolate? Okay, that makes sense. that was the case until the final week of my stay, which made this Christmas truly unforgettable. The last week? No. W it first started at Snowman? night when I suddenly woke up. Uh... You woke up in the middle of the night and saw a snowman? Huh? Oh shit, guys, that's scary. I don't remember making this snowman. Huh? Initially, I didn't know if it was from something I heard or from a bad dream. A bad dream. But either way, I felt compelled to look out the window. Yeah, look out the window. That takes some bravery, but you've got to do it every time Which just to be safe. Which is when I noticed the snowman. <gasps> it's snowman! In the distance. It's not no snowman. It's a real Back man. Back when I was a kid, I would have been delighted at the mere sight of a snowman. But that scary. sense of childhood nostalgia was soon silenced by the realization that I wasn't alone out there in the woods. Oh, some someone making the cabin where I was staying snowmen. was the only one this side of the valley, so it seemed like a really long way to walk just to build a snowman. Yeah, why? Now they did it to freak you out. Despite it's a prank. the uncanny feeling, I was still far too tired to give it too much thought. Yeah, and managed to, to sleep through the rest of the night. Come on, it's a snowman. What's it gonna do? Throw a snowball at you? Come the on. The following morning, to no surprise, the snowman was still there. Yeah, I would knock it down. I couldn't quite put my finger on it right then, but I got this strange notion that something was different about the snowman. Oh no 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 no! I decided to carry no. on about my day and didn't think much of it until no. later at night. No, when it no. happened again. <gasps> it moved again? But it's snowman I moving around? I woke suddenly for no apparent reason. Why? I don't remember having a bad dream. But I guess it's common not to remember the dreams that we have. Ooh. Even the really bad ones. That's scary, huh? It felt like deja vu and I found myself once again gazing through the bedroom window. Damn. Just knock over the snowman already. I could already. still see the snowman. Even clearer now. Damn. I couldn't quite figure out why, but it gave me this odd sensation. I also started to wonder why the snowman was facing towards the cabin. <laughs> yeah, because it was a prank. Someone built it. And why to anyone scare you. would build a snowman all the way out here? Damn. Who built this snowman? There weren't any other huh? cabins around for miles. Yeah, come on. Who's building I didn't snowman? sleep all that much after that, so the next morning, I decided to head outside the cabin for a closer look. Yeah, come on, go up to it. Yes, finally, he's gonna kill the stupid snowman. That's what I would do. I would do that on day one. I'll be like, move that stupid snowman. I looked around, it was a just as snowman. I expected, there was no trace of anyone. Although I would make it a was hard snowman. to be sure, considering how poor the visibility was due to the weather. Due to the weather. Oh. I chose to knock the snowman down just Hell for good measure, yeah. since it was already beginning to feel like some kind of bad omen. Yeah. Maybe I was overreacting. It was just some nope. kids fooling around, but at least I wouldn't have to think about it anymore. Yeah, screw this stupid so snowman. Thought. The following night, things got even worse. Damn, what's gonna happen now? <gasps> oh, oh, scary noise! It's a snowman throwing his snowballs! I woke balls. up again, but now I knew for sure it wasn't from a dream, oh. but a loud thud. Damn. Like the sound of something hitting the window. It's bloody snow, what else is out here? What else is out here in this forest? I glanced at the window forest? and was shocked to see the same snowman, identical from the day before. I remember no. turning in quite late that night, and there was no sign of a snowman when I turned out the lights. So I was pretty sure that it wasn't a kid's prank. Whoa. I mean, who would let their kids out this late to build I mean, a snowman? I mean, who would let their kids out and this late? what was late? that noise on the window? The last thing I wanted to do is go outside in the blistering cold. Yeah, don't do that. But I knew that. that if I waited until the morning, any footprints would most likely be covered by another thick layer of snow. Oh, you want to see if someone's building it? I would got dressed. Stepped outside and oh, walked up to the snowman. Oh, that's brave. There are no footprints. It's a bloody ghost. Ghost snowman. The, the ghost loves playing Which with the snowman. Which is when I discovered a single set of very large footprints leading from and to the forest. Whoa, you're going to follow it? Damn, I wouldn't. I would just leave this damn shitty place in the morning. I couldn't shake this feeling of being watched. You are being watched. And that somehow I had made things worse by destroying the last snowman. <laughs> Destroy this one. Come on, I would dare. So I decided to leave it alone and quickly headed back to the cabin. Damn. <gasps> Who's that? Who is that? Huh? The bitter cold stayed with me that night as I curled up in bed and tried my best to get warm. Damn. But the prospect of getting any sleep that night soon came to an abrupt end. Abrupt? <gasps> Another snowball in the, the bloody window. In the glass. I recognized it instantly. Oh my the sound God. of a snowball hitting the window. Damn. I knew deep down that it could only mean one it thing. It could only mean 
one thing. Dear God, the snowman is back and he's throwing his balls at my window. Oh, the snowman! The, snow, the snowman's gonna kill me! Oh. Okay, shut up, Brandon. It's not. It's Needless to say, calm down. I didn't sleep a wink that night. Anyway, yeah. And I left the cabin <laughs> the very next day. Yeah, good idea. You should have done that. From I never the knew his name. Or ever saw his face. Wow. Good. But I came to know him. As, as the, the snowman. As the snowman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Who knew the... Who would have thought a snowman would have been so scary? All right, guys. I'm going to end the video there. Shout out to Animated Horror Flicks. Go check out his channel. Go watch his videos. Go subscribe to his channel. I bet he would really appreciate it. Also, shout out to my animation channel. If you guys haven't uh, subscribed to that or watched the new animation, which is probably out... Uh, at some point, look out for that. And uh, yeah, measuresolve.com for the plushie and also the book that we're making based around the animation channel, stuff like that. Either way, though, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you want more videos like this, and I'll see you very soon in the next video. See you later, guys. Bye bye. <laughs>